everyone. Welcome to the basic introduction into Blender. As you can see, we are currently sitting in Blender. Now, if you have zero uh, knowledge as to what Blender is, Blender is a free-to-use 3D modeling uh, software that is quite powerful when compared to something like Maya, which is uh, mainly used in the 3D modeling industry and animation industries. Uh, Blender is just slightly a little bit weaker than uh, Maya, but it is about 90-95% as powerful. And another thing is, it is free. Now, it is quite easily accessible. You can use it on PC or Windows OS or uh, Mac OS. And currently I am using uh, Blender on a Mac. Now, with all that said, Let's go ahead and uh, tweak some of these settings, uh, user settings, so that it will make it easier for us to work around in. Now, uh, we're just going to go over to the file section, and we're going to scroll down to the user preferences right here. I'm going to click into that. Now, as you can see, we have all these options. We're going to go to the input tab right here. And uh, usually, well, I guess most people uh, click with their uh, left click or left mouse button to select something. I don't exactly know why the default selection uh, for Blender is set to right, uh, but I am just usually set it to left click and uh, just makes it easier to you know just integrate yourself into Blender. Now another thing, uh, since I'm currently using a MacBook, my keyboard does not extend to a numpad. Uh, I'm just going to turn on the emulate numpad over here, uh, this little checkbox, turn that on. Now this numpad uh, sort of uh, uh, makes it easier for us to select certain uh, viewpoints. I will show you what that is later. And after that, I'm just going to go over to this little option. There should be a 3D view. The, all these options right here. I'm going to go to 3D view. There is a view selected option right here. As you can see, the keys that it is binded to is control numpad period or uh, numpad period. Since we don't have a numpad, uh, I'm, also, I'm just going to click on this piece right here and click Shift F. And this will basically make it easier for me to sort of zoom in onto a object. Uh, with that done, uh, we can just save the uh, user settings and close this. Now if you kind of mess things up a little, we can just click on this restore button and it should restore this section right here, restore. It's not going to touch on these, but just on the sort of keys that you've sort of binded. Shift F, save this again, just close this. And if you've truly messed up everything in your sort of settings, you can just simply go down to load factory settings and it should reset everything back to zero. Uh, everything such as the uh, mouse click buttons and you, your uh, emulate buttons. And yeah, there you go. We have our settings set. Now we can sort of play around with our uh, camera movement. Now, uh, as you can see, we are staring currently at this uh, box right here. Now, if you want to rotate around or over around this uh, box, we can just click on our uh, middle mouse button and just sort of drag, move around, move your mouse around, and you can sort of just move your camera around this uh, box. Now, if you want to pan to the side, say a little bit over there, you can just hold down the shift button and hold down your middle mouse button as well and just you know just move around you're just panning around the object and well not exactly object but just around the space here and there you go we have that done uh, now the key that I binded shift F makes it so that I can just simply zoom in to a selected object here and with that done let's go ahead and play around with the viewpoints. Now remember the numpad part? Uh, with that uh, binded to well, emulating the numpad with our sort of keyboard uh, number uh, section right here, you can just click on say one, you can go into the front view or actually in this this case 
it's the front or side because uh, it's a box. Uh, you can slightly move it downwards, move it to the side with like two and four, and we can click on seven to go to the top view. Uh, we can click on six, slightly rotate things, click eight, move these, just move, move around, rotate around with the num uh, number pad. Uh, also, currently we are using the perspective view. Uh, it's what our eyes usually see an object as. Now, if you want things to be more 2D and flat, we can go to something called the orthographic view, which is what happens when you click on five. Notice how all the uh, well, all the uh, spaces around or the faces around the uh, cube are shown to you. See, as you can see, we are looking dead on to the object right here. If we click back into perspective mode, can't see the top anymore because it's uh, sort of turned into this perspective view. Click on five again, we're back in this flattened orthographic view. And sometimes it's just easier to move around, you know, like mess around with the object in orthographic view. And yeah, there you go. Uh, that's pretty much it for the basic setup of Blender. Now uh, we'll, we'll continue on with more additional uh, uh, movement and or uh, object making in the next video. Yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.